collectible giveaway at bigcardflip.com and today I want to show what comic books I have recently purchased and let's go ahead and get started. I've got Interview with the Vampire and Rice's, uh, you know, this, there's obviously an original and Rice uh, book, which I read many years ago. Excellent book. Loved it. The movie was also phenomenal. The the comic book I recently went out and purchased because they are, um, they have, from what I remember reading, they have eight uh, episodes, or I think they're, uh, what are they called, pilots? Uh, so the, it's for AMC, so you already know AMC has a good uh, history. Uh, you've got um, a show, a, a few shows that have become very popular, and I am, uh, as far as based on comic books. So uh, I am definitely, definitely looking forward to that show and so I picked this one up it looks like it's in pretty good condition I also picked this one up the uh this is this is actually more for me reading uh honestly I'm not sure if these are worth much but picked up these two books and to go with the interview with the vampire theme I have issue three Four, five. So what am I missing there? I know two is in here somewhere. So I'm missing two. So we have another issue one. And my plan is to, oh, here it is, issue two. And the thing is, you can get these books. I picked these up for about an average of about twenty dollars each the issue ones the issue two was three dollars and uh what else did i get oh and those other books were cover price so uh i picked up you can see here how many issue ones i picked up and i recently have decided that when there's as a collector i i i have to i'm having a difficult time buying one of something and selling it and it's, 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 I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. It's just something in me. The collector in me is just, I can't do it. So what I'm doing is I have decided to pick up five to six, five or six. So I got, I have, obviously you can see I have two issue twos. That's just in case one is to keep, I want to keep, uh, and the, the one through five, I want to keep, I want to keep one through five for my PC, but I have here, you can see one issue one, right? Let's count them. one two three four five and six so i have six issue ones my plan is to sell five and with that with those profits that i am that's my strategy as a collector i usually i would just buy one and never if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know my strategy was just to buy the uh, the issue and uh, uh, go ahead and let, keep it and not, never sell anything. So what I am going to do now is, as I mentioned, and, and recently I was like, oh, I'm going to get into you know selling, flipping, and I was just buying and keeping anyway. So to you know to do something that is more suits my strategy i'm that's it if i can't buy five of something i'm not buying it because i can't uh i won't be able to sell it so and i want to buy enough that way i can just you know at a small 20 percent markup i'll be able to make enough money to uh pay for my uh my my pc version so that is why i picked up six so that's my strategy so i've got these right and the strategy is, I love that book, Interview with the Vampire. I, I'm eagerly anticipating the show. So that's why I bought those books. I am going to be submitting them to get um, graded. I'm going to submit all of them. And that's, that's going to be my plan. I'm going to uh, be making a video of me packing everything to be submitted. Now, if you've seen the other video of me getting my other books ready, uh, these are 
these are them right here these are not recent purchases actually so you know what that is not the purpose of this video we're looking at recent purchases so let's i know here we go i'm going to show you my recent purchases and here is uh here it is war machine all right all right here we go here they are i have war machine this is the first appearance of war machine iron man 282 um gi joe which i've had from before but i purchased another one so that way again I need to keep one for my PC. So I picked up another one because of the snake eyes. Uh, I felt that this this is a good spec book, uh, knowing that snake eyes is going to have his own, um, I think, what is it again? A show? A movie? And I think it's a movie. So I uh, picked that one up, an another copy, and then Thunderbolts have that book right there because of uh, the news of, of him... Um, of Thunderbolt, Thunderbolts coming out to the big screen, which is going to be super dope. But even cooler than that, I think, you know, you never know with these with these movies, is the um, the Black Adam, Black Adam. So I also picked up this Shazam issue twenty eight, which is the first appearance of Black Adam. The Rock is going to be playing Black Adam in a, a movie, so I wanted to pick up this book just because of that. This one, it's in really bad condition, so this is this one, I don't know if I'm going to keep or if I'm going to sell. My test, to uh, what I want to learn is, is there a market to buy a book in really bad condition, right? Now, this is an expensive book when in good condition, but I picked this one up. I don't remember. It, it, gosh, I would have to I have everything in a, on a Excel spreadsheet. So what I what I'm doing is I pick this book up for, you know, a fraction of the cost of a, what a good copy would goes for. And I want to see what type of percent of profit, if at all, anything am I going to see in this book? And I'm going to see obviously how much is a 9.0 or 8.0 see what kind of percent so i'm trying to see use that as as a test is there even a market to make money buying beat up comic books uh, of expensive high-end comic books if they were in good condition and see you know i i don't know i don't know if again this is uh some un uncharted territory for me i have not messed with this at all i've never been a, a flipper always a collector so i'm curious as a collector just having even a beat up copy of it is cool to me as long as i have a copy of it you know so uh bad grade is better than no grade is, is what i feel but i'm gonna see as a flipper as an investor is there money to be made in it i'm just curious so stay tuned for that so those are the books that i recently have purchased stay tuned for the video where i'm going to be posting me uh, packaging up all of the books and submitting them to CGC. I've already made the video of me um, choosing the books and me actually going to CGC and, and uh, going through the process of making the submission. Now it's going to be the, the part of me packaging everything in the shipping kit that CGC sent me, which I just uh, received in the mail today, actually. So all right, stay tuned for that. That is, those are the books that I'm buying uh, that I have purchased recently. Thanks for watching.